It is day two of Camp NaNoWriMo and I have written 700 words and that's it. <laughs> My goal is 1,160 I think. Um, that's kind of what it usually is every day. Um, or it's 1,600. I don't really know right now. Um, all I know is that I have like 900 more words to write and I can't. Um, well I can. It's just a little bit harder today. I edited and uploaded my writing vlog today. Um, it just took like most of the day. So I think tomorrow I'm going to write early in the morning. Um, I was excited and I did a lot of research as you could see in the last clip where I was just tabbing certain books. Um, and I forgot I had the unexpected everything, but that's really helping me write the current scene that I'm writing. I just kind of lost all motivation in the middle because I just haven't watched hockey in so long that it's hard for me to just get back to it. So I might just have to watch some, um, which is fun and fine with me. But there is a certain aspect of this scene that I wanted to dedicate um, to a special guy. Um, and I'm just still going through a lot of things. If you saw my Rita Rama vlog, I talked all about how I was feeling about my favorite creator, Cordy LeBerry, who passed away. And it's been almost two months since he's passed. And it just has been a really hard time for me. Um, and I thought that I would just add that into my writing. Just kind of wanted to give something to him that he gave to me um and I think that's helping me because writing is therapeutic it's just a hard thing and I just want to honor him and honor him in my creative way so the scene that I'm writing tonight is dedicated to Corey um and there's some little things that I'm dedicating to him but it's just a hard thing because I was like, yay, I'm excited to write this. But then I actually sat down to write it and it was a hard time. Um, and yeah, so I still have a little bit to write. Um, hockey just also hasn't been on. So like me trying to write a hockey scene is harder because I just haven't been consuming myself with it. I'm the type of person that likes to just sit down and write it all and then get it done because that's kind of what a first draft is for. Um, you don't really go back to things until the next try. Um, but I just think a little bit too much. Um, but this I kind of do have to think about. Um, and yeah, it's just been a weird day. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's only day two, but I was having fun writing. It's just the timing and everything. It's just a little hard today. Um, and yeah, it's 830 at night. My reward when I hit my word count is to respond and read my YouTube comments. I'm excited to see what everyone thinks of the vlog. Um, and yeah, I am possibly going to go back. I'm either going to go back to this scene or just write and rewrite something just so I have something because this is really hard to write. Um, I thought I would enjoy it, but just 
I don't know. It's just a hard time. Um, honestly, if anyone has gone through anything of just anyone losing their favorite content creator, whether they just left the platform or have passed away, it is really hard. And yeah, so dedicating this to Corey. Um, and I'm gonna go and write my damn book, basically. Um, and probably eat dinner. They're making a Frosty the Snowman live action. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done with this year. I'm over it. I really am. That was my last draw. Corey, and then, well, the pandemic. Corey, just everything, man. <laughs> I hate this year. I hate this year. It sucks, but at least I'm gonna write my book. <laughs> I don't know. Today's just a weird day. Um, and I'll just see you guys tomorrow. Alright, I tried not to make it habit <laughs> that I would write every night, but that's what's happening. <laughs> um, it's currently 11.30 at night. It is Saturday, July 4th, and I didn't write anything yesterday. I just was not in the mood. Um, honestly, I think that the problem is that I'm just not in my comfort zone or like my writing zone, I guess. Because when I wrote in November for Nano, I wrote in a coffee shop, but we are still in a global pandemic and a quarantine and uh, they're not open. Well, they're open, but it's drive through and I just don't get the same feel. And it's harder to write scenes because I haven't been anywhere and it was just a funk yesterday. Um, so I wrote 40 words and today I am catching up and I have 2000 to write in the next 30 minutes. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun today writing. Um, I found an outline that is really helping me. It is the 27 chapters and it's helping me so much because now I have everything organized, sort of, um, just kind of together where I can collect all of my thoughts and know what I'm going to write each day or I can just pick up on something and I'm just so excited now. So I think that that's just what I needed is like a little push. Um, so now I have 2,000 words to write by midnight. Is that going to happen? Fuck, probably not. Um, and yeah, that's it. I've been researching about how fucked up it is to even play hockey as a trans person. It sucks and I suggest looking it up because it just sucks, man. It does. Um, I probably could never play hockey. Um, if I wanted to, because I would have to be considered on a women's team. And that is transphobic as fuck. Um, <laughs> they say that they're inclusive, but it's not inclusive whatsoever. Um, so I've been kind of struggling with that and just kind of trying to write my main character as best as I can. And I'm just getting angry for him because it just sucks so much. Um, and you're just basically not going to get to any professional league if you are not cis. There's just a bunch of issues with like trans athlete stuff, but I'm getting more excited to write my book because I understand how important it will be if I ever get published. Um, because it's a very important story to talk about and I'm just loving it. Um, besides the fact that I am kind of torturing my main character, but I'm having a better day today. Yesterday was just not the day at all. Um, and I think it's fine. Um, my goal is obviously to like win, but I don't think that we're in the ideal space or time to be creative. Um, my creativity was super low yesterday like I'm just really lacking just because I have not been in public in a long ass time and don't know what it's like to be places and socialize um but the creativity came back today and I'm just excited to push forward and 
I might win Camp Nano. I don't think that that's like my goal. I think my goal is just to write because I haven't written in months. Like I haven't written since November. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. And I'll just talk to you guys tomorrow because I still have 30 minutes to write 2000 words. But it's fine. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five, the fifth day. What's up guys, it's Sunday, it is the fifth day of NaNoWriMo, and I am off track. <laughs> My little progress thing is just really swerved off the track. Um, I have 1,358 words to write today. I have two scenes in mind. Um, one that I wrote last night, uh, that I need to add to or fix. Um, I don't know, it's weird when I have like an idea and then I just start writing and my brain just has a different idea, I don't know. Um, so I have that to do. The outline that I found yesterday is really helping me and sorry my hair looks crazy. I just got out of the shower and have not gotten a haircut since quarantine, so, um, yeah, I have a lot of shit to write today. Um, I'm excited to. I'm just kind of tired because I stayed up late. The thing is, is that I do like research and writing and then by like one o'clock in the morning, I uh, just haven't done my fun things. And then I do, I watch The Babysitter's Club, like the first episode and it's pretty good so far. Um, I've read some of the graphic novels. When I did my childhood books video, I read this. It is Claudia and the Phantom Phone Calls. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good. And that's it. <laughs> it's pretty good, so I'm probably gonna watch the rest of it later. Um, but I have to write. <laughs> that's the point of this vlog. Um, I'm still debating whether this is gonna go in my main channel, if I'm gonna continue with this or not. I want to because I want to like document this for the future if I ever get published um, to be able to just look back and see things. So maybe I'll actually just post them on my second channel. I don't know, I'm, I'm conflicted. I have my coffee, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna look at my outline and get this day started. Goodbye. <laughs> Why would anyone even watch this? It's not even, it's ridiculous. It is 10 o'clock at night on the fifth day of Camp NaNoWriMo and today is the first day that I've ever hit my word count in the afternoon and not an hour before midnight. Um, I love that for me and I'm hoping that this sets me on track. I am way off track. I'll insert a photo right now of my progress. It's off but it's fine. I'm still making progress. I wrote a scene today that I really, really enjoyed. It was fun to write. It wasn't what I expected to write today or what I planned to write today, but I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. I'm just excited that I hit my word count before midnight and I'm not a ball of stress before then. Um, so making progress, but I'm still a hot mess, um, but I had a pretty good day today. Um, besides just my mood, um, my mood kind of deteriorated at the end of the day. Um, but honestly, Sundays are just really hard days for me. But today was a great day despite the latter half of the day. 
I'm feeling good and I'm excited to write tomorrow. I feel like I'm just less in a funk and more so excited to keep writing. Um, just because I have everything together that I didn't have when I was starting. So I'm really having a good time. I have a lot of research to do, so I think I'm gonna maybe do that tonight. Um, or just kind of have a free night. I've just been playing it. I've just been playing Animal Crossing and since it's July we get to swim and that's just all we want to do is just swim and swim and swim because I can't really swim in real life um unfortunately but I am loving Animal Crossing and I'm loving my book um and yeah I'm not sure what channel this is going on yet. Um, you'll obviously know, but I'm gonna actually put out a poll right now because I didn't really get much feedback on whether or not people wanted the videos on my main channel or just on a side channel. Um, because to me, I didn't really get a lot of views on it. Um, so to me, that shows me that people don't really want it or care for it because when I did a poll, um, nobody said no to it, but there were many people who were like, um, I don't really care either or. So I only right now have like 60 views and to me that's like less than what I have. Like a good video is like 300 to 500 views, but right now I'm at 60 and the video has been up since Wednesday, I think. So I might just be moving them over to my second channel, but you'll be watching it on either one. So you'll be able to find out obviously, but this is just my thoughts because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but I am fucking loving my book and I'm very excited to write tomorrow so I'm gonna go do some research and I am going to set up a poll so I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's 2 30 on Monday day six of Camp NaNoWriMo and as you can hear outside it is storming very badly. I need to get my words in right now in case my power goes out um, because I'm pretty sure that the software I use, I need to be connected to internet so that it can sync my word count to the Nano website. So really hoping that my power doesn't go out, but I have some things to catch up on today. I'm going to be super vague, but I need to finish chapter one today because I have not finished it, but I have to research so that I can finish chapter one. And then I have a certain scene that I want to write and it is a snow day scene, but we're in summer and it's raining outside. So I'm going to watch some like snow day, maybe like TV or like movie scenes so that I can get into the mindset that it's snowing um, and what. A snow day is like because honestly this year in PA it did not snow for me so I don't even remember what snow is like uh, so yeah I have winter stuff to do research and it's 2 30 and I woke up like two hours ago <laughs> so I'm really hoping my power doesn't go out because I have some things to research and that requires internet so I'm gonna take the next hour or two to research and just get my notes together for today and then at four Brittany is going to be hosting writing sprints so I'm going to go over to her channel and join her and I'm really excited um so I have a lot of shit to do I really hope my power doesn't go out but if it does I'll update you <laughs> What's up guys? It is Wednesday, but I'm going to be wrapping up the vlog today. So 
I need to talk about my progress for Tuesday. I had the plan that I was going to get to 11,000 words. Unfortunately, I only got to like a little over 8,000, um, but I think I'm closer to 9,000. So I'm basically going to try it again today. I just really want to be on track more. Um, I just don't really know what's happening. I think it's more so that I just have to do a lot of research. So my writing is not happening until I'm done researching things. So I'm going to edit this vlog and get to writing. Um, I'm so glad everyone's enjoying them. I wasn't sure if this was what people would like or not, um, but thank you for the feedback. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I hope you're all having a great day. Bye.